Sports scores and highlights. News 18. Sports from where you live. Welcome back and thanks for hanging around for your sports fix. I'm Hadassah Harris and we've got a lot to cover tonight beginning with high school hoops. The 2024 girls high school basketball Indiana All-Stars have been selected. This year's 13 player roster includes 12 Division I commits. Of those 12 players is Carroll's Allie Harness. Harness holds the all-time leading scoring record at Carroll and led the Cougars in points, assists and steals this season. Harness will be continuing her career at Western Michigan to play at in the Mid-American Conference. And continuing our coverage of local athletes taking their talents to the next level, we now take a look at McCutcheon volleyball player Bella Humphrey, who after four years of varsity volleyball has decided to call Auburn University her new home. Bella Humphrey will be playing volleyball for the Auburn Tigers. Humphrey, who has been a focal point of McCutcheon's on-court success for the past four years, wraps up a stellar career with 1,049 kills, 1,091 digs, and 209 aces. This got the attention of the SEC school, who Humphrey says was the first team that reached out to her. They were my first call of the day, and um, they just said, apart from other schools because they showed how much they wanted me. They sat my court every single day at nationals. They reached out to me every single day and they just made me feel really wanted. Humphrey says that she has been playing volleyball since the age of seven and this is all she's ever wanted to do. Um, I've always had a dream of playing D1 and you know my catch and I started as a freshman and I just have been playing like that's all I've been doing my whole life is volleyball so. While Humphrey has achieved her dream of becoming a D1 athlete she says she is ready for the next step, which is taking the Auburn volleyball program into new heights. I just want to play at the highest level possible, and I think it's really good that I chose Auburn because I'm not joining a school that's already reached its peak. I'm joining that's a program that's going on the journey to be successful, and I'm going to be a part of that journey. So I'm just really excited to play with a lot of girls at the top level and just get better at everything I do. Reporting from West Lafayette, Andy Manzer, Sports 18. And on to college hoops, Purdue men's basketball came away with the win over Wisconsin, which was also senior day for the Boilermakers. Sports 18's Kelly Hallinan caught up with Fletcher Lawyer ahead of the Big Ten tournament. What does this senior group mean to you? So much. Uh, they're all I've known so far. They've taught me the ropes. They took me under their wing. And uh, we won a lot doing it. So it's been a lot of fun, but I'm hungry to get to march with them. How did this win set the tone for what you want to accomplish the rest of the month? It's just capping off what we've done all year and uh, what we plan on to keep doing. Playing hard, playing with energy, and out competing in Wisconsin. Of tournament time, the Big Ten Conference announced the full bracket for the 2024 TIAA Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament. Purdue is the number one seed for the second consecutive year, claiming its 26th Big Ten Championship. The Boilermakers will face the winner of Michigan State versus Minnesota Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time.